The International Gas Union is the global voice of gas made up of more than 150 member associations and corporations representing over 90% of the global gas market in over 80 countries. This short video contains key findings of the 2023 IGU World LNG Report. Between 2021 and 2022, global LNG trade grew by 6.8%, reaching 401.5 million tons. The increase was driven by a surge in LNG demand in Europe to offset dropping pipeline flows from Russia. The annual LNG supply growth in 2022 was almost 3% higher than in 2021. The market tightness from 2021 continued into 2022 and the onset of the Russia-Ukraine conflict took it to a critical level. Europe's sudden need for vast additional LNG imports to replace lost pipeline gas volumes from Russia contributed to an imbalanced and highly volatile LNG market, with Asian and European prices reaching new record highs. Europe became the epicenter for LNG demand in 2022 and kick-started an intense inter-regional competition for marginal spot cargoes between Europe, Northeast Asia and South Asia. The premium for TTF over Henry Hub peaked at $84 MMBTU on August 26, 2022. The Platts JKM benchmark averaged around $34 MMBTU in 2022, reaching an annual daily low of $18.9 and hitting an all-time high at $84.7 MMBTU. The US and Russia saw the biggest growth in LNG exports in 2022. The US overtook Qatar as the world's second largest LNG producer last year. Australia maintained its first place. Global liquefaction capacity continued to grow in 2022, reaching a new total of 478.4 MTPA. New liquefaction capacity in the US accounted for 75% of the 2022 increase. As of April 2023, over 178 MTPA of liquefaction capacity was under construction or approved for development, 44% of which in North America. As of 2023, the global LNG carrier fleet consisted of 668 active vessels. This represents a 4% growth with a delivery of 27 carriers in 2022. Demand growth in 2022 was driven by Europe and Asia-Pacific. This compensated for the fall in demand in Asia and Latin America. Asia-Pacific remained the largest net importing region with a 2.9% increase in demand. However, European LNG imports saw a record growth of 50.4 MT in 2022. Asia and Latin America saw a decrease in demand of 19% and 40% respectively. China and India both saw a sharp decrease in LNG imports. Nearly all European markets grew in 2022, with France, Spain and the UK topping the list. Global regasification capacity grew by 3% in 2022. As of April 2023, 48 markets had LNG receiving capabilities, reaching 970.6 MTPA. Europe added significant regasification capacity and approved a record number of projects in 2022. Germany and El Salvador joined the ranks of LNG importers in the first half of 2023. As of April 2023, 219.3 MTPA of new regasification capacity was under construction. Five new markets, including Vietnam, Estonia, Senegal, Ghana and Nicaragua, are currently building their first LNG import terminals and planning to start importing LNG in 2023. Offshore and floating regasification capacity reached 177.2 MTPA across 44 terminals. Growth in new markets for LNG as fuel is continuing continuing as the international regulations on emissions and air pollution for shipping are coming into force. As of the end of April 2023, the global operational LNG bunkering and bunkering capable vessel fleet reached 35 units. During the time of crisis, LNG played a key role in securing global energy supply. Its inherent flexibility made possible rearranging unprecedented volumes of gaseous energy flows in record time. This flexibility, together with abundance, availability and decarbonization, make LNG critical and necessary for a secure, sustainable and achievable energy transition. The global gas industry stands ready to deliver its part in the journey toward the common goal of cleaner energy for all.